Welcome, Eurovision fans. Well, now we got the copyright thing taken care of. It's time to go back and look at Kobe Marimi again. We're going to look at Diamonds, the song from Rising Star. And I believe, if I know correctly, because all of you have been so great on informing me a little bit about the journey, this is where he got sent home and subsequently was brought back to the program because the fans were outraged that he was kicked off and there was overwhelming support for Kobe to be brought back in the in after this song. So uh, I believe here he gets eliminated, he comes back, and then he sings Knocking on Heaven's Door. I, or Russian Roulette. I, I, maybe it was Russian Roulette. Um, but I have the list, so <laughs> I'll check that and I'll be able to do that again. So uh, yeah, I've been releasing all these videos. Uh, just so you know, I changed the style, not for the style, like I'll wear the hat forward, backwards, without a hat. That's all part of my organizational stuff. Uh, I'm not just changing clothes and changing things to be uh, crazy. Uh, I could wear the same hat and do that, but this helps me distinguish my videos and uh, categorize them. So I know when to release what, and uh, so it serves a purpose. <laughs> I'm not trying to be trendy or, or anything. I still have the pineapples. I just don't have the hat. Uh, lost that three videos ago. No, last video. <laughs> I'm rambling. <laughs> Let's watch Diamonds from uh, Kobe Marimi from Rising Star. Diamonds. I think I said diamond. Here we go. Oh, he looks a little nervous. Oh, I like that. Good. Everybody looks sad, you know. Now, okay, now here's my question, and I'm sure somebody can answer this. What percentage did he need to get to? Because it seems like everybody knows that that's not a good percentage to be at. Um, at 32. Uh, obviously, you want to be high. I've seen him go, you know, way up there. So, uh, what number was he supposed to hit? Um, he, he seemed, okay, as far as you know, it was a very good performance. I loved a lot of the vocal gymnastics he did there. I think by far he seemed the least comfortable and the, the most disconnected from the song. I think I felt there was something missing from him, like he wasn't as passionate about this specific song, that maybe he liked it, but he's it, it, it wasn't This Is Me. This Is Me is was just insane insane and so this i guess i could see where it would be a little bit of a letdown it's not bad at all i'm not saying it's bad what i'm saying is i think of all the songs that i've seen him sing this one specifically is the one that he kind of 
didn't have as much love for going up there because all the other songs I've seen him just take it by the reins and go in and do it. You can tell he's passionate. I don't know if he's passionate about this specific song. So that's what I heard when I, uh, when I listened to this, I think he was a little bit, uh, disconnected from the material. Uh, if I were rating this, this one on a scale, I'd probably say an eight out of 10 instead of a 10 out of 10. Like I would give for most of the other ones. I just think this one was a little lower than the others, but Gosh, I mean, you look at the guy's full body of work. Why would you get rid of him? Why would you kick him out of the contest for one performance that maybe wasn't as uh, uh, heartfelt as some of the others? You can't kick him out for for this, you know. Look what he's done. Look at Circle of Life. Look at This Is Me. Look at his look at Sweet Dreams in the beginning. Um, it's just uh, a bit crazy that he actually had to leave the contest for a little bit and uh, come back, but. I'm glad he came back, and I am so looking forward to knocking on Heaven's Door. Uh, that's going to be so great. I can't wait to see that one. I uh, don't know if it's knocking on Heaven's Door or Russian Roulette, but I'm going to do that right now, actually. And so this that video will be posted right after this one goes up, because um, I want to see how Kobe comes back and rebounds, because I just have a feeling he's going to come back and nail it, because as far as performances go... Like I said, this was not bad, but this was my least favorite performance of all his performances so far. So, uh, definitely uh, liked a lot of the vocal tricks that he was doing, but I just felt a disconnect or a disinterest a little bit maybe for the song on his part. I don't know, maybe it's just me. <laughs> but he was still brilliant. It's still Kobe. He's still got that voice and he's still got that talent, but something was off this night. For now, Lethargic Sloth, out.